Hey everybody, you ever zipping around online clicking away and bam, you hit a dead end. A page that just says 404 not found. It's like walking into a room and forgetting why you went in there. Frustrating, right? Well that, my friends, is the infamous 404 error. It's the internet's way of saying, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, this page doesn't exist. But don't worry, it happens to the best of us. Even Oprah gets a 404 once in a while. I know, I checked. The good news is, a 404 error isn't the end of the world. It's not like you broke the internet. Unless you actually did, then we need to talk. It's just a little hiccup in your digital journey. And like any good detour, it usually leads you right back on track with a little know-how. So, buckle up, Internet Explorers, because today we're diving deep into the world of 404 errors. We'll learn why they happen, how to fix them, and maybe even have a little fun along the way. Stay tuned. Now before we get all techie on ya, let's talk about some common situations where you might bump into a 404 error. These pesky errors can be quite the nuisance, but they're often avoidable if you know what to look out for. Because let's be honest, sometimes it's not the internet's fault, it's our own clumsy fingers. A simple slip of the finger can lead you down a rabbit hole of frustration. First up, the classic typo. We've all been there, right? Trying to type in a website address while juggling a latte and a screaming toddler, only to realize you typed Amazon.com instead of Amazon.com. Oops, it's a small mistake, but it can lead to big headaches. Then there's the broken link. This is like clicking a link in an email or on a website, only to be met with that dreaded 404 page. It's like the website equivalent of a prank door. Not cool, internet, not cool. Sometimes these links are outdated or the page has been moved without a proper redirect. And let's not forget about deleted pages. Sometimes websites like to play hide and seek with their content. They might delete or move a page without telling anyone, leaving you stranded on a 404 page like a lost puppy. It's frustrating, especially when you're looking for something specific. These are just a few examples, but you get the idea. 404 errors can pop up for a variety of reasons. Some are fault, some not. But the important thing is to know how to handle them when they do. Whether it's double-checking your typing, using updated links, or searching for the content elsewhere, there are ways to navigate around these digital roadblocks. Okay, so we've talked about some ways we, the users, can accidentally stumble upon a 404. But what's going on behind the scenes? What really happens when you encounter this error? Why do these errors even exist in the first place? What's the story from the web server's perspective? Well, it all comes down to how websites work and how they are structured. Imagine the internet as a giant library and each website is a book. Every page on the website is like a chapter in that book. When you type in a web address, you're essentially asking the librarian, aka the web server, to fetch that specific book or chapter for you. Now sometimes the librarian goes to the shelf and the book's not there. It could be missing for several reasons. Maybe it was moved to a different location, deleted, or never existed in the first place. The reasons can be varied and numerous. In those cases, the librarian hands you a little note that says, sorry, can't find it. This is the web server's way of communicating the issue. That note, my friends, is the 404 error. It's a simple yet effective way to inform you that the page is missing. It's basically the web server's way of saying, hey, I looked everywhere for that page, but it's like trying to find Waldo in a sea of stripes. No luck. It's a bit frustrating, isn't it? And just like that, you're left staring at a 404 message wondering what to do next. But don't despair. There are solutions. There are ways to fix this, and I'm going to tell you all about them right after the break. So stay tuned. We'll dive into the solutions and how you can avoid these errors in the future. All right, folks. It's time to put on our problem-solving hats and tackle those pesky 404 errors head on. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. In fact, sometimes the simplest solutions are the most effective. First things first, double check the web address. Like I mentioned earlier, typos happen to the best of us. So before you panic, take a deep breath and make sure you typed in the address correctly. You'd be surprised how often that's the culprit. If the address is correct, try refreshing the page. Sometimes it's just a temporary glitch in the matrix and a quick refresh can work wonders. Think of it like giving the internet a little nudge to get its act together. If that doesn't work, try going back a page or two in your browser history. You might be able to find a working link to the page you're looking for. It's like retracing your steps to see if you missed a turn somewhere. And if all else fails, there's always the trusty search engine. 
Just type in the name of the website or page you're looking for and see what pops up. It's like asking a digital detective to track down your missing web page. And don't forget, sometimes switching devices can help too. Try accessing the page on your phone or tablet. Also, make sure your internet connection is stable. Sometimes a simple router reset can do the trick. If you're still having trouble, try using a different web browser. Different browsers can sometimes handle websites differently. With these tips, you'll be navigating the web like a pro in no time. Section 5. Beyond the fix making your website 404 friendly. Now, if you're a website owner yourself, you know that encountering a 404 error can be frustrating for your visitors. It's like showing up to a party and finding out it's been canceled. Not a good look. That's why it's important to make your website as 404 friendly as possible. This means creating a custom 404 page that's both helpful and entertaining. Think of it as an opportunity to turn a potentially negative experience into a positive one. Instead of a generic error message, you can add a touch of humor, offer helpful links, or even showcase your brand personality. Make your visitors feel like they're in good hands even when they're lost. Remember, a well-designed 404 page can mean the difference between a frustrated visitor and one who's willing to stick around and explore your website further. So don't underestimate the power of a good 404. Section 6. The Lighter Side of 404. When Errors Get Creative. You know, despite the initial frustration, some people have turned the 404 error into an art form. I'm talking about creative and hilarious 404 pages that make you forget you even encountered an error in the first place. Some websites use witty illustrations, others play on popular memes, and some even create interactive games out of their 404 pages. It's like turning a lemon into lemonade, but for the internet. There are even websites dedicated to showcasing the best and most creative 404 pages out there. It's amazing how something that's supposed to be an error can spark so much creativity and humor. So the next time you stumble upon a 404, take a moment to appreciate the effort that went into making it, well, not so error-like. You might just be surprised at what you find. Section 7, 404 for fun and profit. Yes, you read that right. Believe it or not, some savvy businesses have even figured out how to turn their 404 pages into marketing opportunities. It's like turning a wrong turn into a chance to discover a hidden gem. They do this by using their 404 pages to promote their products or services, offer discounts or collect email addresses. It's a clever way to make the most out of an otherwise dead-end situation. Of course, it's important to do this tastefully and not come across as too salesy. The key is to strike a balance between being helpful and promoting your business in a way that feels natural and engaging. So if you're looking for creative ways to market your business, don't overlook the humble 404 page. It might just surprise you with its hidden potential. Section 8. The Future of Not Found. Will we ever escape 404? Now you might be wondering, with all the advancements in technology, will we ever be free from the dreaded 404 error? Will there come a time when every web page is just a click away, with no dead ends in sight? Well, while technology is constantly evolving, the internet is a vast and ever-changing landscape. Websites get updated, moved, and deleted all the time, making it difficult to completely eliminate the possibility of encountering a 404. However, there are technologies being developed that aim to minimize 404 errors by automatically redirecting users to relevant content or providing suggestions based on their search history. It's like having a personal assistant for the internet, guiding you to the right place, no matter what. So, while we might not be able to completely say goodbye to the 404 error, the future of not found is looking brighter, thanks to innovative solutions that aim to make our online experience smoother and more enjoyable. Section 9. In conclusion, navigating the web with grace, even when lost. Well, folks, there you have it. We've explored the world of 404 errors, from their causes to their fixes and even their humorous side. Who knew a simple error message could be so multifaceted? The next time you encounter a 404, remember, it's not the end of the world. Take a deep breath, try the tips we discussed, and if all else fails, just laugh it off. After all, life's too short to get stressed out over a lost web page. 
So go forth and explore the vast expanse of the internet with confidence, knowing that even if you get lost, you have the tools and knowledge to find your way back. And hey, you might even stumble upon something unexpected and delightful along the way. Happy browsing!